I just did this, now I'm going to do it again because I had the wrong focus. Let's do frame dragging. Remember our empty space with gaps. If these two were to move closer together, this gap would lessen, disappear. Gaps would appear here. All these guys can move a little bit. The points outboard of that also are arranged similarly. Can have gaps moving around. Further away you get from this, the more you can move the area further away from it because the gaps allow movement of large regions of space. Now let's look at our proton. <laughs> This thing is tight. There are 12 of space times points and none in the center. There are points outboard of this guy and more and more and more. Suppose we want to move this thing. We move it by squeezing the space behind it and opening, loosening the space in front of it. And it can move because all these gaps readjust outboard of it, further away, out that way. The frame of reference of the proton is its own 12 points of space-time plus 20 more that are in its tri-pockets and perhaps even more. At some distance from the proton, if we move the proton, the points of space won't move along with it but will allow it to move because of the readjustment of all the gaps. Proton's frame of reference is it's 12 plus the 20 plus a few more. However many it must carry with it because the compression packs this geometry so tight. The electron, same idea. It's stable as a regular uh, octahedron. And there are points in its tri-pockets and points in those tri-pockets until you get to a region of Generalized space where the gaps are, and it can permit movement as these things readjust. Frame dragging. The more you put these bunch of these protons together, eventually you get enough of them, you get a planet. And the region of space outboard of the planet won't move around a lot as the planet moves. This is frame dragging. Okay, more later.